we're going to look at the long division method for working out division calculations where we're dividing by a two digit number. I'm actually going to start though because we're dividing by 12 and it's not too tricky a two digit number by looking at our short division method so we can see that actually long division we're doing exactly the same thing we're just recording a little bit more to make it easier so in my short division method I have 228 divided by 12 so I start here and say how many 12s are there in 2? 2 divided by 12 I can't do that so I might put that 0 and I may write that remainder of 2 in here 22 then divided by 12 well, that's only 1 it's not quite enough for 2 and I would have I start with 12 going up to 22 a remainder of 10 so I write both digits in here my remainder is 10 so now my final calculation is 108 divided by 12. Because I know my 12 times table, I know that that is 9. So I can see my answer is 19. Right. Using the long division method, we start in exactly the same way. So we have 200 and 28 divided by 12. Now there is a little um, phrase which we can use to help us remember the order we need to do things in long division. And the letters we need to remember are D, M, S and B. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. That's what they stand for, but we'll see that as we go through. We need a way to remember it, and one way which I've heard used, which um, sticks in the brain quite easily, is does McDonald's sell burgers? We can associate that with our long division. Does McDonald's sell burgers? Okay, so first of all, we've got to... D, divide. So we're doing our normal division. Okay, so here we've got 2 divided by 12, which we know we can't do. It's not enough, so we've got a 0. And we would have 2 left over, a remainder of 2, which we could write up here. But in long division, we're going to leave here because we know if we write it up here, we get 22. But actually, if we just look at these two numbers, because we've not changed this at all, we've got 22 here. And we need that digit there for the next part of our calculating. So, let's have a look here. 22 divided by 12 is 1. So now I've done the division. I've actually got something in my division. I move on to multiplying. So this is where I'm saying, well, what is 1 times 12? 1 times 12 is 12. So I'm going to keep that in my head because now I need to subtract. The S is for subtract. So I'm going to take that 12. 1 times 12 is 12. And I'm going to write it underneath here, the 22, and subtract. Okay, so this is the subtraction done. 2 subtract 2 is 0, and 2 subtract 1 is 1. So we've done exactly the same as we did in the short division. Only this time, instead of working out the difference in our head, we've actually written down the multiple that we got to. 1 times 12 is 12. We've written it down so that we can do that subtraction on paper. And this is an easy subtraction here, but when we've got larger multiples, it can be quite tricky calculating that difference in your head, which is why we use this method. 
So we've done divide, we've done the multiply, we've done the subtract. Now we're down to the B, and the B means bring down. And that means we take this digit and we bring it down here and write it on the end. So we have 108. So it's just this final step. Instead of writing our remainder in up here in the box, in front of the 8, instead we move that 8 and write it down after our remainder. We've still got the same number, 108, but it means because we've got two digits, it's not so squashed, and it means if our calculation continues, we can carry on subtracting as we go along. So let's complete our calculation. 108, and now we go back, we've done our bring down, we go back to the top and we start all over again with divide. 108, it's here, divided by 12 is 9. And we still go back and write our answer in at the top. There's no remainder, so our calculation is finished.